The engine itself had three vertical cylinders of increasing size arranged in a line. Each piston was connected to a rod, which was guided by a sliding block guide called a crosshead. The crosshead transferred motion to a connecting rod, which in turn rotated the crankshaft, converting the up and down movement of the pistons into rotary motion. Looking inside the engine now, this engine was designed to progressively lower steam pressure in each of its three cylinders to extract further energy. Each cylinder had its own valve that controlled the flow of steam in and out by moving up and down. These valves were operated by rods driven by eccentrics, or circular discs, mounted off-center on the crankshaft. High-pressure steam from the boiler first enters the steam chest of the smallest high-pressure cylinder. When the valve is in its lowest position, steam flows into the cylinder and pushes the piston downward. As the piston moves, the valve begins to rise, cutting off the flow of additional steam. The steam already inside continues to expand, driving the piston to the end of its stroke. At the end of the stroke, the valve reaches its highest position, allowing the now lower pressure steam to exit the high pressure cylinder and flow into the steam chest of the intermediate pressure cylinder. There, the cycle repeats. Steam pushes the intermediate pressure piston, expands, and then exits. Finally, the exhaust from the intermediate pressure cylinder enters the largest low pressure cylinder, where the same cycle occurs once more before the steam is exhausted into the condenser.